This right now is Hurricane Ian taking over the west coast of Florida. Phil, what are we looking at right there? Well, you can start to see the eye of the hurricane has definitely been, become a little bit more clear. And even though we see it really close to Fort Myers right there, Tampa is feeling some of those effects right now. If we can take a look right here, this is water right now that's receding from Tampa Bay. Why is this happening? Well, it's all because of a negative surge. So what happens is as that hurricane starts to move inland or closer to the shore, it someone or you know someone that could not evacuate, you do not want to be out in the elements. It's kind especially of there. eerie and it's kind of the calm before the storm that we hear all the time. Now let's take a look where the hurricane is directly hitting over here. This is on the west coast of Florida. So as you can see, the winds are strong. Actually, I think the camera went out because it's been moving, but because of the strong yeah, winds, sometimes it glitches and it freezes. Stand still just, right now. And yeah. like I said, there's been definitely power outages out that way. Definitely yep. looks like we just lost that feed of the camera there as well. Well, just Keep moment, in mind. moments before, like we were just saying, this was shaking like crazy. Yeah. You can see evidence. those winds coming in. So again, here's a look at Hurricane Ian. Now, something to keep in mind is Hurricane. Wow, and I mean, we see it on the West Coast, but the East Coast of Florida also taking a hit. Take a look over here. This is in Delray Beach. This is just north of Boca Raton. We're going to show you that video coming up soon. A possible tornado hit Delray Beach on the East Coast. All this because of Hurricane Ian. It's reaching that city north of Boca like we just talked about. And the people in this apartment complex that are watching this video, this is overnight. They lost power. All the windows that were boarded up with wood. I think we'll see some of that video now. That wood officially gone. It's on the floor. Cars turned over, trees knocked down. Everyone who lives in this apartment complex had to move. And now these people are the ones that unfortunately are on the East Coast. Didn't think they'd get it as hard as the West. So now let's go ahead and turn it over to NBC's Chris Pallone, who is actually in Tampa Bay. He'll be reporting from there all day today. He says time has run out for that area to evacuate. It's time to hunker down and wait for the storm to pass. Take a look here. Phil, I mean, this isn't my first hurricane looking at it. I have lived through so many hurricanes and as Floridians, we always joke around about hurricanes, about the cakes that they make at our local grocery store. But when the hurricane is actually hitting, it's scary. I mean, my sister yeah. and I will be in the bathroom and we're trying to make light of the situation, but hearing those winds hit the homes, it is scary. So those people who are hearing that right now, what's it looking like? How fast is it going to move through their area? What can they expect for the rest of the day? Well, it's definitely going to be similar conditions for the rest of the day. Now, keep in mind, this thing will slowly weaken once it makes landfall. It has on a But first now, continuing that coverage on Hurricane Ian, where we are all watching it play out. Washington is watching too. President Biden is pledging federal assistance to those in need, while FEMA and the Pentagon are at the ready with supplies, personnel, and the National Guard to provide support. NBC's Drew Petromo reports more. All right, thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to check us out today, our later shows at 4, 5, 6, and 10. We'll see you then. Have a great day.